to the famous Seamus experience. And on my way to the next sharing job this morning, <clears throat> I ran into some unfortunate, unfortunate events. And that is my home. My mobile home has become a permanent home on the ground. Seems like as as I was driving the uh, spring here, or I don't know what you call it, <clears throat> that thing busted, busted, and then I dragged this thing for a little bit, and now it's on the ground. Oh, he's already in the video. So the guys I work for, they're real handyman, and uh, they do this sort of thing all the time. Only when I break screens on my shirt, but that happens about once a year. <laughs> so this is a pretty common thing for him. And this guy here says a little duct tape and WD-40 will do the job. Yeah, yeah. Get out of there, dog. Second day of, of this job here in Montana with about 1,500 head. We did about 750 yesterday. We have another 700 more to go, but we're down a guy. But it's, it's gonna be a good time. 
people near the sheep shore. <laughs>
This is what you would call a shearing barn. <clears throat> so the, sh the mortars would sit. Oh, we got one right here. Hey, is this an old fashioned one? That's an old one. That's a clutch drive. Clutch drive? It's got, here's the clutch. So that would be like it disengages the clutch, and then when you do it again, it, the clutch engages, so it turn your so the motor would spin all the time when it was plugged in, and then the clutch would just disengage the drive. Oh, and this is what your dad sheared on. Yeah, I've sheared on one before. Oh. And the arm is just tied up, but the arm would hang down right here. Oh, this looks like it's still functional. Oh yeah, it would be. I mean, you could shear sheep on it. Is this, that's a rake? The yeah, rake stuff? Uh, that might be a nine. That's a three-point cutter, but that's a nine too. Per sharing 2018. We sure on this board. You want to? Sheep would be right here. Step on that, pull the sheep out, shear it, shear it all that way. Just like that. Would people ever get stuck in there? Only if there wasn't enough wool. I mean, if there's wool clear down here, if you jumped in early, I mean, it'd be hard to pull yourself up out of there. But, uh, but I mean, they just keep throwing fleeces in on top of you and you just stomp down. Eventually, you'll get out of there. <laughs> I've been in one of before. Stomped wool in these barns is throw the wool up there throw it down in this huge sack that was attached right here and stop it amazing <laughs>
Got all the sheep sheared for today. Got this job. Now the next job. Getting my ice fishing house. Moving again. been a few days and a few hundred miles since I got my leaf springs on my ice fishing house replaced. And so far, it's been working out pretty great. See right there, brand new. I mean, I've gotten stuck in the mud since then and had to really drive. It's like loosening these bolts here so that these can fit over the hole there. Well, anyways, overall, it runs perfectly. It's just the springs on this one, they're not exactly the same length and they're brand new and so this side sits up a little bit higher than the other side so at some point I'm going to replace the springs the leaf springs on the other one too but for now it works just fine so if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel because there will be more adventures with my ice fishing house and sheep shearing all together